But I also think like you can't just throw the Metcal out there and not like elaborate a little bit. That that's a flex. You know what? Sure, let's just go. Yeah. Ha- that'll be my story time for this let's episode. We've we've done so much tech stuff, but yeah, I was at I was at the Met Gala uh, on May second, which was no big deal. You know, f- pretty uh, fish out of water, as I would <laughs> as I would describe it. So uh, the the way it was sort of broken down is uh, the Met Gala. For those who are unfamiliar, is a sort of fashion event. Uh, fundraiser in New York City. Yeah, but it's it's become like the Super Bowl of fashion events, basically. Sure. So yeah. so anytime you see it happen, basically, I don't really follow the fashion world that much. And then once in a while on Twitter, I see everyone's craziest outfits, and I'm like, oh, the Met Gala happened, mm-hmm. and that's like once per year, basically. They took a year off after the pandemic. Then there was a a couple of months ago they did a a pre Met Gala or something like that. But then we're back in 2022. And like two weeks before, I got an email from Derek Blasberg. He's the head of fashion at Google and YouTube. And was like, hey, do you want to go to the Met Gala? I was like, oh, oh yeah, I, I, maybe. It, sure, mm-hmm. I guess that, that sounds fun. I looked up uh, in the past, like, have YouTubers gone to the Met Gala before? And there have started to be a few. It's kind of like, uh, I actually kind of relate it to Apple events. Remember the earliest days of Apple events where there actually weren't any YouTubers at them yeah and i was actually the first youtuber that was invited to an apple launch event and now not to take credit but now they've realized that that's a good idea Mm -hmm, and now there are youtubers at every tech event especially with apple events there's tons of us there um so i looked it up there have been a couple of youtubers in the past that have gone to met galas typically though they're in the fashion industry (laughs) so as a tech creator i was a little bit confused i started reaching out to some youtube friends like did you get an email about a met gala did you get an email yeah. i started nobody else had gotten one but i texted mark rober mark rober also got an invite and we were both a little confused about if we should go or not but we did both decide to go we were like we'll be fish out of water together we'll just go do the thing works better that way yeah yeah so we had each other's back it was uh it was very it was very interesting as you can imagine an event like that would be I'll descri- I-, I will say, Derek is clearly a legend. Like I didn't know, like I didn't it, yeah. know what I was getting myself into. But if I could do my first Met Gala all over again, I would not rather have any other host than Derek Blasberg. That's so awesome. he he walks into the place and literally immediately it was like his birthday the week before, mm-hmm. and people were like, "Oh, it's De- Derek! What's up, man? <laughs> Happy birthday! Good to see you!" I think uh, we got to the the red carpet, which is how everyone gets into the mm-hmm. event. And I think I stepped out of our van for 15 seconds and immediately uh, Hugh Jackman's like, Derek, man, what's going on? Shakes his hand. He sh- shakes my hand. Hi, I'm Hugh. Hi, Hugh. I'm Marquez. Like, Hi, I, I know who you are. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's there's the, all the who's who's of, I guess, fashion and you, you see celebrity and musicians and things like that. And there's mm-hmm. a theme and everybody wears an outfit according to the theme, um, which was... A little bit interesting. I think people saw the theme, which was gilded fashion something, something. American, yeah. American fashion. I think people saw the word gilded and thought, oh, you need to have gold. That's not what the theme was. The theme was it was from the gilded age of fashion, yeah, yeah. which was this golden age of like new wealth coming to the U.S. This is like the, the, the early 19th century, mid 19th century. And then yeah, there's like an extra like American on top of it. Look so. at you, fashion icon over here. Well, Look I was it, educated careful. On this it. podcast is going to be a fashion podcast, and Hiato is <laughs> going to take my space. Yeah, thing. no, this this was. I'm. I don't know if I'll ever go back to another Met Gala, but this was quite an experience. I'll remember for a long time. Lots of people are like, "Who did you meet? Who was the cool outfits?" I, I met a lot of people. A lot of them were very nice. Uh, my number one thing that I think I'll I'll take away from going to the Met were number one. I realize everyone how tall and short everyone is because on okay. TV and like in acting and music videos, I guess I never really think it's too hard. hard about the context of like, oh, Venus Williams is super tall. I didn't know that. <laughs> I looked oh. it up after she walked by me uh, on Google. It said she's six one. I don't believe that either. She, either she's like six three really? and wearing huge heels, or she's like six six. Wow, because she is definitely That's taller awesome. than me. Um, Erica Badu is very tall. Um, Hillary Clinton's not very tall. Hugh Jackman's not the tallest. Hugh right? Jackman's tall. 
Okay. I think he's my height. Was he? Okay. Yeah. So that was the, the one thing I got out of it. And then I got that, you know, Derek knows everyone. Hillary Clinton walks up to him. Yeah. Derek, happy birthday, man. Katy Perry. Derek, happy <laughs> birthday. Literally everyone we walked by. We were walking in the streets of New York City after the after, after the Met to one of the like Instagram after parties. And literally a car driving by on Fifth Avenue, window rolls down. Derek, man, <laughs> how's it going? So that was my Met Gala experience. Well, at the Instagram after party, were all the celebrities wondering why there's no iPad app? <laughs> no, that wasn't no, topic of conversation. There was, it was, it, no, there wasn't uh, really any, bummer. any sort of string of, there was very little tech to talk about. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it that way. I, I do have to say, you said that might be your last event. I vote you keep going if you're invited until you meet Taylor Swift and then, you know, <laughs> I'll give you, then you're allowed to stop going. Fair. Cool. Okay. All right. That's, deal. that's fair. I'll keep Thank going. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you. I'll go. I'll, I'll definitely go if Mark goes again. I think we had a good, you know, eye opening time. Um, so shout out to Mark Rober. Also, we, we sort of, we suited up. Obviously I wore a tux. I posted the oh, picture yeah. about how it was matte black, everything. I got so much heat about how the shoes didn't look matte black. I'll tell you in the photo, they didn't look matte black because compared to fabric, mm -hmm. you know, matte black leather doesn't look as matte black as fabric, but the shoes were matte black. And to prove it, look at me in any picture with anyone else's shoes and their shoes are way shinier. I posted a separate, I'll put a separate picture up of the shoes. They're matte black leather, just so you know. This is very important. The lights just hit different. Yeah. I just have to be sure Marquez we're on the doesn't same lie. page. Yeah. So matte black bow tie, matte black shirt, and matte black jacket. For matte anyone who pants. think he changed just for the Met Gala, he did not. No, no, no. They're a matte black. I'm still the Marquez, Marquez you know. True. You yeah. know me. Blood runs thick. Yeah, it's not It's not going anywhere. Actually, here's a funny part. So Anna Winter, uh, is the the she runs the event, and she runs Vogue. And so the Met Gala, everyone who goes is hand approved by her. Mm -hmm. And as I did the suit tailoring and fitting, they had to send a picture of my fit to her for really? approval. I did the fitting in a white shirt and a white bow tie. And, you know, they get, they're like, oh, yeah, we have to get your cuff length, you know, a quarter of an inch. We can't be sending a gentleman out there with a half an inch of cuff showing. And I will not accept that. That's not going to work. So, like, I go, you know, I get the, the length all set right. They pin everything down. They send the picture. So when I get the email, like, yep. You know, your your COVID tests are negative, your ID went through, everything's good, and Anna Winter approved your exact fit. So we suggest you wear that, but we'll include the black versions just in case. Okay. And so on my way there, I'm Googling it like, what is white tie? Like, how flexible is this? Am I allowed to wear huh. all black? And uh, I convinced myself, like, I got to go matte black everything. Okay. I just ha I have to. So I wore the black tie. And you did it? Black shirt. And that was it. So. Okay. So matte yeah. black everything's is Vogue approved is what I'm seeing. It's Anna Next Winter approved. Cover. Well, I did shake her hand, but like she never approved the black version. She approved the black and white version, but I just, everyone was wearing black and white. So I had to do my thing, you know? You did it. But I didn't get kicked out. So we'll see <laughs> if I get invited back. <laughs> That's the Met Gala. And you wore an Apple watch. I did. did That's you? the other I did. thing. I wanted to ask you. I forgot. Uh, it was really funny. So Mark Rober had this incredible yeah. watch with this like planetary system and these mm -hmm. amazing complications. I don't know if he would even let me say how much that watch costs. It's like one of ten in the world. It's seventeen. Six, it's six one digits. Of 17 did you look it up? Something like that. You know yeah. how much it costs? I did not look. How, I don't know how much it costs. I just it's, know how rare it is. <laughs> he when we left the the Met, he took it off and put it in his pocket. I'll put it that way. All right. Um, I had the the black Apple Watch on. I was like, I was like, I gotta get the MKBHD band going. So at least I'm wearing oh, okay. me or something like that. But yeah, I had a, I had an Apple Watch on. Wow. Yeah. Hit that. Yeah. Good and job. shook Anna Winter's hand. <laughs> so take that, right, Kevin O'Leary. You're not going back to the the <laughs> what, are, what are you gonna do about that, Kevin? Uh, no, it was a good time. That's awesome. All right, thanks for watching that clip. I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that the next time I am invited to go to the Met Gala, if that happens, I'm going to be dressed as the subscribe button specifically to the Waveform Clips channel. You can just tell when you look at it. It looks like the subscribe button to the Waveform Clips channel. The, is it like the regular version or the clicked version? It's going to be the red version that you, are, you just want to click. You just got to click it. You should try clicking it just to see what the other, you know what, click it to see if he should go as the not subscribed version or the subscribed version. I okay. think the, the subscribed version looks nicer aesthetically, so on your screen you should probably click it. That's fair. It turns a nice like neutral what? color. And the back of it, your tie will just be all the comments from this video. Perfect. So leave a lot of comments and okay. you might get to retroactively go to the You can go out. to the Met with me on my tie. Book it. Book it. Book Send it. it.
like it i guess we forgot to mention that but you should anyways you did that nice thank you i appreciate you you